Jabari, you gotta come see this. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Look at all these boats. They are lit up for Christmas. Also very chilly temperatures once again, not even cracking 60. But the biggest concern with Barry and Algiers is the river that's about to rise at an incredible pace. Let's time it out with future radar. Widespread rainfall out voting lunchtime, basically all day a soaker. What they do is dangerous, but it can also be fun as well. Two. <laughs> oh my gosh. One. And I'm alive. Another beautiful day. We love it, especially I during election week. Love it. Feeling fantastic. Some clouds, but it's sort of like insulating us, increasing the temperatures for this afternoon as well. This is absolutely incredible to see. And there's a house right there completely flooded. I'm getting close and personal to Louisiana's top predator. Look at that. The battle of two seasons, 50s in North Arkansas, very chilly versus kind of warm and humid 60s. Good news, the chance for development is low because it has to move over a lot of land to get to the US. But you may have dew on the car, very humid for a start and warm as well. Dry weather for at least the next few days, very warm in the 80s for today and tomorrow. A Friday cold front, I'm tracking a slight rain chance, but much cooler by Saturday, feeling more like November real soon. But right now, mild for a start in the 60s, very high dew points and humidity out there for this morning. 60s and 50s for a start. A lot of moisture in place for this morning, especially in North Arkansas with the front pushing to the north, heading into Missouri. From White County to those arcs, we do have a dense fog advisory where visibility could be less than a quarter of a mile. Slow down, use low beams, especially heading into the morning commute. It should burn off around 10 o'clock, but lots of sunshine, rocking the vote, maybe dress like summer for today. High pressure building, warmer temperatures, heading into the 80s, maybe mid 80s in some spots. As that front pushes to the north, we do have warmer air in place, lots of sun for at least the next few days, so maybe t-shirt weather for today. 80s for the patio, out to lunch, sunglasses as well, lots of sun heading into the 80s, upper 70s in the Ozarks, back into the 60s for tonight, more the same on your Thursday, still very sunny and also very warm in the 80s, and then a change is on the way. I'm not really seeing any rain chances until late Friday into early Saturday, more clouds in place as well with a slight rain chance. A cold front is moving through, heading into Saturday, cloudy, but look at the temperatures from 83 almost a 20 degree difference 62 degrees feeling like november cloudy maybe um sweater weather coming back as well 62 for saturday 70s on sunday also a stronger cold front on the way heading into next week let me move out of the way maybe some 50s <laughs> coming back in the forecast 71 on monday very cool very chilly as we head into early next week there's no doubt that Nez had experienced a lot in her lifetime, with one exception, social media. Hi, I'm Adam, and what's your name? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Being underwater with these aquatic creatures made my heart race, and it nearly took my breath away. Including the one and only Mo Collins. Oh, come on now. <laughs> How are you all? So, why are you wearing a coffin? Because the character is trying to collect her dad's dead body parts so that she can give him a proper burial. And the rock is regular, the bombs bursting in air, proof through the night. Our twist reporter Adam Bowles got to see what it's like to perform with the arts of fire. Fire performing. It's primal. It's that sound, that feeling. That's what it's all about. There's an old saying, don't try this at home. But with these fire performers in the French Quarter, they are not afraid to blaze their own trail. 
any place they call home. What's funny is I've actually burned myself doing almost everything but this. I burned myself on the uh, water heater, on an iron, on a cast iron pot. I've never actually had any injuries because you're never more aware of fire than when you're juggling it and it's right in front of you. This is a fire burn, which is a demonstration to show their exciting luminance skills. For all three of these performers, they average about 10 years of fire training, but just one mistake can melt their career. In a regular show, if you make a drop, you can just be like, hey, I'm building suspense. <laughs> In a fire show, if you make a drop, it might go flying into the audience. So you try not to. What they do is dangerous, but it can also be fun as well. <laughs> Two. Oh my gosh. One. And I'm alive. <laughs> Kat Calico knows how to keep the audience alive and hooked. She says sexy and fire are a good combination. And I went to busking on Bourbon Street in pasties. I did fire nipple tassels. I would walk over to people and say, would you like to see this on fire? The heat may bring in the bucks, but with their burning desire for performing. I wouldn't mind if I got paid, but I'll do this stuff for free if I could. Their torches, like their futures, will keep burning bright.